All right, welcome back. I'm finally getting around to making another video here. It's still pretty warm today, but I wanted to get this done before this thing goes away. So this Craftsman here has a problem where the drive belt pops off the transmission pulley. And, you know, usually even when they get really worn, they don't come off. But this one does, and it's kind of a, a unique problem why it does that, and it's not necessarily the belt's fault. What happened here is... Uh, Somehow the transmission mounts came loose and the ones that were left holding it decided they were going to crack. So now it needs all new mounts put on or it's going to be a parts tractor. But we're going to jack it up here and take a wheel off and show you what happened to it. Alright, so now I got the wheels off so we can see better what's going on here. And here's the transmission mount on the right side. So that it broke out there. The nut is still on there down here. The nut and the piece of metal is still there, but it broke off. So that's that's a problem there. And this one here, this one has a crack right here. So this whole piece here, the, the fix for this would be to just cut this off right here and weld a new angle on there. Because, you know, you can re-weld that, but it's not going to hold. It's going to crack. It's already stressed. And this isn't the bad side. Now, over here, you can see it's about the same thing. You know, you got this crack here. It tore through. You got the crack on the back here. And you also got a crack down in, down in here. You got that stress crack there. So what happened here is, this is not the cause of the problem. This bracket in here attaches to the front of the transmission. This piece right here, that one there, gets bolted on to this bolt right here. I know it's a little dark in there, maybe a little out of focus. That bolt's still there. Okay, so I don't think that was the failure point there. Although it did eventually crack, which once that's gone, you may not be able to tell. Yeah, you can see this transmission is leaning down in the front and that's going to loosen the belt tension on that pulley. So then the belt, when you go a certain direction, I believe it was forward, it just pops right off because then the transmission tilts down. See that transmission shouldn't move. And right now it's bent way down, so the belt is really loose compared to what it should be. And over here you can see that that tab is not broken off right here. That's still there. And here's the hole that it's supposed to get mounted to. There's a bolt in that hole. So I'm thinking probably at the factory... Because the, the homeowner I got this from didn't seem like the kind that would do his own work to it. And uh, the belt looked like it might be original yet. It didn't, it, you know, it looked pretty worn. But I'm thinking that that bolt might have been over torqued at the factory, most likely, and the head broke off. Or it just got, you know, really torqued when it was being used. But there's no marks here where it was towing a trailer or anything like that. There's no mount on the front for a plow. So, you know, I would have to guess that the failure point was this bolt broke. And then that one over there on the other side was doing all the work. See, that whole ear broke off the other side. And then once that was broke off, then these were doing all the work. And these are not meant to be torqued. These are only meant to hold the transmission up into the frame. There's always brackets on the front. Now, this is a tough torque transmission. There's a label on it when I took the battery out to put the belt back on. This is actually a tough torque, which is not, a, not that common of a transmission in these tractors. Usually, the transmissions that are in these have a bolt that goes in the side here. You know, there's an arm that comes down. There's a bolt in this side and a bolt in the other side. But this one has that there. And, you know, when you start torquing that a little bit, you can cause a crack, like over there. But I think the real problem was this side over here. The bolt failed for, for whatever reason. 
So if you're out there looking at yard sales and they say, yeah, it just needs a new drive belt because it pops off. You know, I, I've seen this problem on MTDs already on older ones that were well used. This is the first time I've seen this on a Craftsman like this. That's why I wanted to get this video out there. So if you're looking at used ones, you know, like somebody like me, you know, this I would fix this before I sell it. But if you're buying something at a yard sale, you know, or at a flea market where they just want to get rid of it and they didn't really check it out, this is something that you need to look at. Because normally a belt's not going to come off a transmission unless it breaks. If it does, there's something wrong that, that it's loose enough to actually come off. So, just a little kind of a PSA. You know, otherwise it's, it's a, a nice looking machine. But it does have a fatal problem that, that needs some, some welding done to it. And a little fabrication and, and it'll be cutting grass again. And it's a real shame because the rest of the tractor is in pretty nice shape. It's a YTS 3000, 21 horsepower, Briggs and Stratton, single cylinder. You know, I say overall the tractor is in pretty nice shape. So if you like videos like this, hit like and subscribe and it'll help get these videos out to more people. I really like making these types of videos here where, you know, it just, it can really help people when they're, they're looking at equipment like this.